I'm Kira Morgan. Thanks for joining me for this Candidates Forum. And right now I am with Ryan Parker, who is running for Lincoln County Commissioner. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Kira. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, Ryan, first of all, tell folks a little bit about yourself and the position you're running for. Sure. So I'm, except from zero, age zero to three, I'm a lifelong Oregonian. And uh, I grew up in... Uh, up near the Columbia Gorge, but I've lived in Lincoln County for 14 years, and I've been a ranger for the Oregon Parks and Rec ever since. And I have uh, I have two daughters that are seventh graders at Newport Middle, and my wife works at Oregon Coast Community College. And tell us a little bit about why you're running for Lincoln County Commissioner. Well, I've been a tireless advocate for the environment, my whole domicile here in the county and especially around marine pollution and uh, community rights. And I feel that uh, we have to make sure that we protect our fishery by making our ocean cleaner, protecting our estuary against sea level rise. And on that, I'm the city representative for the new Yaquina Bay Estuary Management Plan. And is and, that the city of Newport? <laughs> uh, no, that's a, that's a collaborative for people all around the county. Okay. But uh, since I sit on the city council through the end of this year, I was uh, deemed to be the appropriate person from the city to uh, to interface with uh, the consultants and everyone else, uh, including the Port of Newport and uh, the commissioners and a few other people. Uh, so <laughs> your current experience in city government? Well, I got elected in 2018 and I've, uh, pushed for a platform of uh, citizen direct services and uh, environmental uh, structural improvements in the city. Uh, we passed the bag ban in 2018 to try to keep litter out of the rights of way and out of the ocean. Unfortunately, the state preempted that and made it a weaker product. And then the council and I have, along with Surfrider Foundation, have passed a uh, the state's strongest uh, prohibitive process. ordinance to limit litter by uh, phasing out expanded polystyrene foam and plastic takeout containers in restaurants and businesses throughout the city. Um, and the state has not acted on that to make it statewide, which would, would be more efficient. However, waiting for their leadership, we acted to empower our own community to improve our environment. And what are ways that you would work within the county to help other areas of the county, not just Newport? Well, the biggest thing we need to do is make timber better. We need to clear our rights of way, reduce fire danger, and create grant blocks uh, and grant programs for county woodland owners. Um, I have my sights set on working to get a number of uh, Lincoln County landowners to get uh, Forward Stewardship Council certification so they can sell their logs in a more environmentally friendly way, but still make just as much or actually more money um, there's a number of models here in the coast range, especially in the Emerald County, where high-end log sales are benefiting the environment, benefiting loggers, uh, working with families that have been loggers and truckers for generations and try to keep them, keep them working in a higher-end income bracket um, to empower them and to, by leaving, by leaving standing timber on your plots, you get free seedlings and the mycorrhiza stay intact, which keeps the soil more moist and generally gets a better environmental benefit. And that's what really needs to be scaled up. So tell us what some of your goals would be as a county commissioner. Well, so the timber program I just mentioned is one. And what we really need is to create more ser direct services to the citizens. And by that, I mean more doers and fewer talkers, right? And so, for example, the road department, we need to get them on board with fixing some of the structural road problems in our county, clear rights of way, and one of my biggest passions is education and mitigation of invasive plants. Invasive plants have made a lot of parts of the county very unhealthy, and it's not on anyone's radar at a leadership level, and that's what propelled me to get into the race because I do that work through the Department of Agriculture license uh, through the state for my job, and I try to improve park areas, but this needs to be taken across jurisdictions and all over Lincoln County, 
because trees that are infected with an invasive plants and climbing vines like ivy are unhealthy and stressed even more, especially with our drier summers. It's a negative feedback loop that I think we need to break free from and keep the value of timber higher by keeping the forest healthier. And um, what do you see um, as challenges that Lincoln County citizens face that you would like to help with? Well, I work six weeks of my work year just to pay my property taxes for a small 1,200 square foot home, which, for which I'm grateful to have. However, that is not a sustainable model for me or families, young families like myself. There's a lot of retirees that are on fixed budgets here and they need relief as well. And we need to work on reforming Measure 50, which will be at the legislature, but the commission needs to create a unified voice and lobby and attend the 2023 session so that Measure 50 can provide some, can be rewritten or, or tweaked in some way to provide a property tax relief to people that live here because it's just people are getting priced out of the market and we want to keep, we don't want any more brain drain. We want our kids to grow up here, my kids to grow up here and have careers, vocational careers, welders, ship works on, on, on the fleet. We need to buy into our own industries and create multi-generational uh, relationships with these different parts of the economy and give them that option to stay here. It's a beautiful place. They shouldn't have to leave because there aren't economic opportunities here in Lincoln County. All right. Um, is there anything else that you would like voters to know, Ryan? Well, I'm putting myself out there and under state law, uh, if I were to be elected commissioner, um, I would have to give up my 14-year career with Oregon Parks and Rec, and I, I have to show that that is my earnest, honest effort to make things better for the people in this county because I'm putting myself out there at personal risk and doing those calculations that would put me up for re-election when my kids are sophomores in high school, right before I have to figure out if they're going to go to college or some other vocational training. Whatever they want to do, I'm going to be the, the bankroller of that. And so I care about their future. I care about everyone's generational futures here. And I feel that my experience will help me improve the, the quality of life for our workforce. That's really why I'm in this. All right, and how can folks get in touch with you if they would like to get some more information? Well, I appreciate that. And so I just got a website going. It's www.voteryanparker.com. Or you can uh, email me, uh, Ryan for Lincoln County at gmail.com and it'll link you to all my socials. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I have a Venmo for donations, which I am humbly seeking. All right, thank you so much for joining me on this candidates forum, Ryan, and best of luck in the election. Well, thanks, Kira, I appreciate the opportunity.